Hello, Soul Tribe, my spiritual warriors. Um, my last Earth Dangers. We had a delay here in Memphis, and we probably won't be leaving till this evening sometimes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a video while we're here. And um, oh, let me see. Let me, yeah, that's old. No, this one's a little off right now. Okay. Whew. That OCD almost kicked in right now. We're going to do a uh, a reading. Read my description, disclaimers, all of that. Read all that. I got a couple of questions. Not too, not too bad. Uh, we can answer. And um, I did shuffle my cards. I am going to do what's the vibe. Um, and we'll see where this goes, what the energy has for us. I uh, I did pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to deliver us a, a message we need. Which he always does. And we'll go from here. I'm going to, uh, to do a split deck. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to do a, a 15 card. A 15 card base and we'll go from there what's the vibe love affair <clears throat> love affair hopeless hmm. somebody was in a love affair Yes. Ooh. Somebody was in a love affair. Let me show you the cards I have. Love affair. And hopeless. Um, you know what? I mean, I wanna I'm gonna go ahead and address one of the questions I have now. And uh Yes, Helen on YouTube. She says, hello, Captain. Could you please mention the signs a bit more so it's easier to understand? None of my readings from the first one, first video I ever did to now will ever be sign specific. Okay, these are for all signs. Anything, if I mention something, and I, I want you to understand, if I mention something, about a sign and let's say I'm doing a reading and I say I am giving you an energy that a characteristic of that card that may relate to and let me let me uh, let me see how I can I can uh, explain it um, let's say it is a, a card that comes up and it is a stubborn card doesn't mean that that's a Taurus because Taurus is so damn stubborn that it's unbelievable. It doesn't mean that that's a Taurus. I am just using that as a a reference, a Earth energy, uh, uh, in in that way. So none of my readings are are sign specific. None. Remember that. They it's it's all encompassing. You gonna pick what what. Uh, resonates with you. It's up to you what you're going to pick. This is like a buffet. Might all relate to you. Shh. Might all resonate with you. Some of it. Might. Let's get back to what we was doing. Love Affair was the first card that came out. Somebody was in a love affair or is in a love affair at this moment. And it is. they feel like it is hopeless. It is hopeless. So, I could have did a diamond or a pyramid and start off with a base card. This is sort of like it. This is a reading that is going to be, just remember the love affair. That was the first card that came out. Because of what is going on, they feel hopeless and exhausted. What, whatever, whatever they involved in, whether it's you, soul tribe, spiritual warriors, or 
your person. Maybe somebody walked away from you and they got in a love affair with some third party. Some fruitcake. And now it's a hopeless situation and they feel exhausted. Hmm. I'm getting the sense of, yeah, you see right here? I was fixing to say, I'm getting the sense of they stuck in a situation, cutting ties. Perhaps you cut ties because of this situation right here. Mm -hmm. I think this is more you. You cut ties. And if they cut ties with you, they regret it. I'm going to tell you that right now. They regret it because they hopeless and exhausted. And they facing consequences. Oh, no. Bad choices, playing games. <clears throat> that ain't good. Definitely not good. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to do some mess deck also. Ooh, chaos. I wasn't doing a popcorn. I wasn't going to do a popcorn shuffle, but hold on. Let me let me turn that radio off. They're going to be talking up a storm. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, I wasn't going to do a popcorn shuffle. This just, cause just fell out of my, my hands. So, obviously, the Holy Spirit wants me to, uh, yeah, guess what? Guess what? Mm-hmm. Karmic. See that? Third party. Third. T-U-R-D. In Cajun country, third. That's a three and a R D behind it. Third. Yeah. When I was in school and I was a little kid, they, they tried to make me use that H as much as they could. Because they didn't like me saying that. Yeah. <laughs> they say. Read T H. <laughs> yeah. I was like. <laughs> Third. <laughs> Yes, this falls on a neat love affair. Yeah, sure. They involved. They got involved in a love affair with a a hater. And on here it says lessons learned. I don't know about all that yet because we still have drowning, which falls right underneath hopeless and chaos. That falls underneath exhausted. Golly. I'm, a, I'm probably, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I may have to end up taking me a Xanax after this damn reading right here. Start off. No, this ain't good at all. No. Yeah, let's see what else we got. You know, let, let me, let me, let me shuffle one more time. Holy Spirit, look. Let's do this. One more. And then we'll do a cut. I had said one more, huh? Well, I tell you, don't listen. And the only reason I'm doing a, a split right here is because I need two cards to finish this row. Okay, so let's see what we... Ooh. Healing. Self-care. I like that card. I like that card. Self-healing, meditation, introspection. Yes. That falls underneath cutting ties. This person, I think, is cutting ties with whatever that third party is over there, that love affair. Whatever they involved in over here on this side of the spread, these four cards right here, I think they're cutting ties with them cats. They're like, no, this ain't working out the way I planned. And they're cutting ties and they, they're going into a hermit. That is soul searching, self-care, meditation, praying. Yes. I say that all the time, you know. Nurturing. Nurturing is, uh, it falls under any consequences. When something like this happens to you, and there's a lot of pain, a lot of hurt involved, 
you can go one or two directions. You can go the direction of, well, I'm going to hurt others or hurt people. Hurt people you can develop that attitude or you can go to some freaking therapist and they're going to give you a bunch of enablers. That's what I call them. They enablers. They words. They, they're like uh, trigger words. Okay? And as far as I'm concerned, that's all it is. It's like, okay, well, because you did this and this, you uh, uh, you know, they give it, they give, well, they give justification, I guess is what I'm looking, the word, what I'm trying to tell you. They give you some justification for what you did. And there's not. There's no justification. None. None. So cut the stuff out. Cut it out. Because there's no justification for hurting somebody ever. No. If somebody loves you and is there for you and helps you when you need it, then there's no justification for putting pain on that person because they didn't do it to you ever. They would have never done it to you. Soul tribe, spiritual warriors, they would have protected you. They would not have put you through pain. It's the other way around. You put them through pain. You put them, and then you want to look for justification after the fact. But this is why I did it. Go to some freaking therapist or some psychologist that says, well, this is the reason. Let me, Nate. Yeah, whatever. Um, let, me, let me do this right here. No, 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 no. Negative, Ghost Rider. I do not, that's all excuses, and that don't fly. No. Family. Oh, this is not. I see. Let me let me tell you, family. This falls under karmic running. I ain't into that neither. Too old to run. Not too old to chase. So you may want to stop. Longing. Mask. Man. Hmm. Family. This person got involved with someone hmm. that is a karmic, obviously. Karmic, toxic, very, very a hater. And I would be willing to bet they hate you. They don't even you don't even know them, but they know you. Because of, of this person. They know you. And they hate you. Because they can't be you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your light bulb is like. You know. like My, my light bulb is like 150 watts. And yours is like one of 15 watts. You're like, you, you just don't shine. Hoss. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Let me get back to this. Love of fat karmic and family. This person either got tied up with this karmic's family or their family, this person's family, accepted this karmic and and it was like open arms. Oh, they like so. They don't know this cat. They don't know this energy, masculine or feminine, male or female. They don't know this person. They do not know this person. They see that karmic is another word for, like, you know, this is, this is, in this deck, this is my devil energy, my evil energy, all right? That's what this is. So this is that damn narcissistic fruitcake, okay? Yeah, that's low vibing. They don't shine. They ain't got no, they ain't got no light. They like them. They... Yeah, they, and it it blink it it blink off and on sometimes. And sometimes it go out altogether. The light, you're like, oh shit, there ain't nothing but darkness. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say, oh stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Anyway, this person was running, supposedly they was running. Yeah, they was running to this person over here. Yeah, they they that's another enabler, enabler. And let me tell you something, in the, in the 
twin flame phenomenon. Oh boy, we can get into that. That, oh, they got the runner and the chaser, another enabler. Another justification for the stuff they do wrong. I ain't buying that neither. No. No, I done did too many of these. Too many lifetimes. That's a bunch of... <sighs> bull stuff. No, they can stop. They can stop running. They know what they had. They knew what you were. They, they knew everything about you. They knew that whatever the soul tribe, spiritual warrior, you were the light in this person's life. You were the lighthouse in a storm. They was coming towards you when that storm started. They was coming towards you. And you have been that for a long time. This running bullshit, I'm sorry to say that, but it's running bullshit. That no, 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 I ain't buying none of that. No, and I ain't chasing nobody neither, for that matter. Special words don't chase nobody. Whoever said no, no, hell no. Whoever said that ain't even a damn twin, probably. No, spiritual warriors, we stand our ground. We ain't chasing nobody. We like shields down. Look, we, we dig our shields down into the dirt and we stand behind them and we say, no, we ain't. You, you gonna come to us. Yeah, you gonna come to me. Mm -mm. Feminine energy. Feminines don't chase. Feminines, we don't run. We just, that's just the fact. We are freaking warriors. Man, then you can, they, they, I guarantee you they got a ton of experts out there that will, oh boy, they're going to be like, yeah, he's wrong, he's wrong, he's so wrong, hurt people, hurt people, and after they hurt people and they hurt people, then they take off running like some freaking fruitcakes, some nut jobs, let them run. Wish him luck when they run. Be like, hope you don't trip and fall, boo, because I ain't going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> hope you don't get tired over there. Anyway, possibilities. That's underneath chaos. Hmm. Yeah. This is obviously for that person. This is not for you. Possibilities. Yes. This is one of them cards where... And it falls underneath exhausted chaos and impossibilities. It's like make your mind up. You're the one that caused all of this. The exhaustion, the chaos. That's you that did it. Not, and I'm not talking about spiritual warriors. I'm not talking about my soul tribe. I'm talking about this other person. Whoever this is. And if this is one of my soul tribe or one of my spiritual warriors, get it together, boo. Stop. Stop. There's no reason for all of this. Whew. You mess around with one of these love affairs that's up here and one of these comics, you better wear a rain, a slicker suit, not just a raincoat, a slicker suit because you're going to mess around and catch some you can't get rid of. You can't do that no more. Not, no. No. The case of country, you call that the herb. You caught the herb, boo. Ooh, I ain't no, no, uh don't do that. Don't, uh, don't even shake my hand. I'm good. <laughs> I'm like, man, yeah, I'm OCD about that too. I'm like, whoa, hold up now, wait a minute. Yeah. No kisses, no kisses. Longing. This is them for sure. They miss talking to you. They miss talking to you. They wish they could. It says reunion. They wish they could mend things. They wish that they could fix this, restore. I think they wish they could restore everything that they had with you. Soul try. Hmm. Spiritual world. I think they do. Because they, it is, it like, look at these cards right here. Hopeless, exhausted, cutting ties, consequences. They are paying for some stuff that they did. The hurt involved with all of this was unbearable drowning chaos yeah mask yeah they wear a mask they they don't you know fake flexing 
they could they they, they could be hiding, concealing, concealing. I'm sorry, concealing deception. They you know a lot of lies in this situation right here. First of all, because of the love affair that they got into. And this doesn't have to be, this doesn't have to be one is married and one is not. This could be two single individuals that got involved in a love affair. Yeah. That's all this was, was a sexual fix. That's all that was. That wasn't no, yeah. This started out probably as a one night stand. Yeah. After the one night stand, yeah, it became a freaking nightmare. Got a karmic third part of fruitcake with it. Surprised the psycho card ain't came up. They're like, damn, there he is. She is. <laughs> They're like, oh my God. Let's see. Oh, uh-uh. Oh, oh, no. See what I'm saying? I just said I'm surprised the psycho card ain't came up. Oh, holy spirit. Oh, that scared me right there. That scared the hell out of me. No. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, shoot, man. Psychopath. Just a freaking nut job. Then got hooked up with a damn... Yeah, and they expect for my soul tribe and my spiritual warriors to be Captain Save-A-Lot. No. No. Mm -mm. Hell no. They're like, no, no, we ain't doing no say, um, shattered. They are shattered. Psycho fall on top of love affair, hopeless, comic third party, and drowning. You don't be surprised if they do whoever this is, sir, ma'am, feminine, masculine. Don't be surprised. They don't try to drown you because they're crazy. They some nuts. They're abusive. They like. Oh, they unpredictable. You see, that's what I told y'all. I'm Yeah, I ain't on none of that, but hell. It, uh, I feel like I should be after some of these readings. Take me a damn Xanax. Yeah, be over here self-medicating and stuff. And I don't drink. That's a terrible situation for me, I guarantee. Don't smoke no dope neither. Never have my whole life. What's that? Really? Some people say, you don't know what you're missing. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah. yeah. Shattered. Man, shattered, fall on top of hopeless, exhaust, drowning in chaos. Broken. They got now this this entire thing right here is a is a nightmare. Oh no. Oh Lord have mercy. Whew. Tension. You see them? This look, tension. Oh. Stressed out, they got migraines, they're worried as hell. Oh, they got something involved, they le something legal. That card come out before. This person got something going on. Not you, soul child. I don't think it's you. It may involve you, but this is it's them. I think it's with that that psycho, that nut, that crazy person. Insane. Yeah. I would, be, I would like almost about to say a serial killer. And I don't mean he eat up all the cereal in the house. You know, I mean, this dude is like, this person is nuts. This chick is nuts. This individual is nuts. That's why they like don't stay on. They blink on and off. You can pick them out in a, in a yeah, because it's like, doop, doop, doop. They're like, shit. They're like, damn, what the hell is going on over there? Lights on and off, on and off. Yeah. Legal. They got something going on. I'm telling you. They got lawyers involved. Court is involved. Possibly a lot. Maybe legal paperwork is in. They got themselves into something that they wish they had. They wish they had it because that falls on top of cutting ties and consequences. 
What in the world? What in the hell do you think do? This person was on your island. They left your island, went over there to wherever this cat was at. Well, it could be multiple. It could be multiple freaking cycles. I'm going to tell you that. They might have some friends involved that are fruitcakes. Yeah, just let me do just four. Yeah. Yeah, they want to get away. They want to get away. They want to apologize, I think, to you. I think they want to apologize, but they don't know how to approach you. They, they arrogant, they prideful, they got a lot of ego. And I think that they believe that if they did come to you, they don't know how they would come, first of all, because you probably got them blocked. From, I mean, shut down. You got walls all around you. And they probably think that you would assume everything that they're saying is a lie and it's insincere. Probably. And possibly would be too. Yeah. Boundaries, you see. Yeah, you got they 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 cross boundaries they shouldn't have. They should not have. Yep. And they had an epiphany. An epiphany. Vicky falls right on the cycle. They need to get away from this person. They want to get away. That's what the running card is. They want to run from this person. They may have already. Oh, that's not that's not right. That's the wrong one. I'm sorry. No. Apology is underneath shattered. Boundaries are underneath tension. Yeah, they they like disrespected you big time. Big time. Right here, it even says you had to defend yourself. They didn't even defend you. When the time when when the time came that they could have proven themselves, proven the loyalty that they had towards you. They didn't even do that. An epiphany. They know now. Yep. They know now. It was just lust. It falls on top of psycho and shattered. It was just lust. Greed. Uh, the sexual it was a sexual fix a one night started off as that but it got into something a lot more toxic and they feel rejected isolation that comes from you they daydream Ooh. they miss your intimacy they miss your intimacy. Ooh, wow. Yes, that oh here it is. I was looking for daydream because I had pulled it. Daydreaming. They dream dreaming about you. Yeah. Ooh. That's a masculine energy. Your whoever this is 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 not a feminine energy. It's a masculine energy. And it doesn't mean that they a male. Wow. Ooh, something about it. Time. Time. This person is, this is almost every spread I do, this person is consumed with time. Time is a factor in this person's life. They making assumptions that they will run out of time. Perhaps they already have run out of time. Perhaps. Because I'm going to tell you right now. With relationships. You have to you have to address the issues. Time does nothing but hurt. Time doesn't heal. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't care what anybody says. Uh oh. Strength. That was on top. Strength. Mm -mm. 
I do appreciate, I want to address this too, I do appreciate all of your support and your patience with me. Um, I will, when we leave to go to Louisville, as I said, I will post updates on my community. I appreciate all of the subscribers, of course. I mean, we're still growing. Slow. I'd rather go slow than fast because what happens is you spike and then it drops. If you go slow with your subscriptions and or with people that subscribe, they stay longer. Normally, they're more loyal and they they want to hear the message. Those are the ones that... So, I do appreciate it. I appreciate the shares. I've had some that say, well, we share you on Facebook. Thank you so much. Um, the likes and the comments, especially. I still, I'm good with comments. I, I have been able to keep up. Unlike some, I do not turn off the comments. And I answer it every one of them so far I haven't went back now uh, uh, don't put me a comment on Instagram on there and says well I, I commented on a past video I haven't went back to past videos I normally answer all my questions on my last video or the two prior and then after that I move on I don't go all the way back to the first video hell I got I can't even remember I mean I heard, heard something 150 videos I, I just can't. It's impossible. So, let's do this. Ooh, the tower. Oh, base heart. It. Somebody's in a in a chaos again. Chaos. This is like. Uh, verification on the last reading with what's the vibe there was a chaos card in there this is they're, they're they are in turmoil we had a legal card tower can also mean financial uh, turmoil financial destruction which means bankruptcy the tower can be a financial bankruptcy this could be the legal what they had the legal card Yes. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, what was what's but the, the tower? Oh wait a minute. Oh. Mm. I got two of them. Hold on a minute. There it is. Oh, Pentacles. Page. Yeah, that's it. Mm. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's on top of the tower. This and that's exactly what I said. Pentacles, you see? Two pentacles back to back. Two pentacles back to back. This pentacle is in the upright, and it's it's earth energy. Hmm. Yeah, this is like huge losses. Whatever is going on with this individual, huge freaking losses financially. Yes. Uh, and page of pentacles is a message it is a they are they want to come to whoever you somebody for help they need help this is what the page of pentacles is a help yeah because it's going it's it's moving away let me show you it's moving away from the ten of pentacles in reverse see he's moving away walking away from that he wants to move away from that and or she whatever the case is he or she and they want to they seeking help from somebody from somebody they need an opportunity they look seeking for an opportunity to fix what is wrong 
and they they just don't they're making plans they want to they just they want a new beginning is what it is they they just oh god the devil in reverse hmm. yes and, and this this devil in reverse lands on top of the ten of pentacles in reverse and it is they're fighting with somebody they in conflict with somebody who somebody ruined this person's life of course this person ruined their own life but somebody helped they were this when they went into whatever they walked into they walked away from you or whatever the case is it was an illusion this person was sold I'm talking about <laughs> I hate to laugh but it is not funny it is and it did not take long I'm talking about if this person walked away from you and the famous words is I was walking away from myself well myself is not doing very well with this other person because it caused an immediate imbalance in their life their life was balanced their life was wasn't all peaches and cream but their life had some balance to it and, and they didn't realize how happy they were until how unhappy they became then they realized wow I was happy over here what the hell why did I do this and yeah there is disharmony in this person's life big time king of swords in see king of swords in the in the reverse they lack they have a lack of structure they are irrational whoever this is that and it's all and it follows the tower mm, golly mm. it's all because of options all because of options way too many they they made some bad choices but I'm talking about some very bad choices yeah I used to see this card uh, before I started making videos I used to just turn cards just just for just for the hell of it you know uh, especially dealing with my energy and those around me within my circle I was interested in what my circles doing if if I could uh, you know kind of like a peek into what's going on because it was my energy and they were part of my energy and I used to see this card all the time all the time I kind of knew what was going on and I knew that they were making bad choices and I would even say you know you're making some terrible choices why are you doing this stop you know I had it nobody knew what I I read cards nobody knew the intuition I had I even gave them hints a few times of it but it never paid ooh. Hmm. they got a lot of negativity a lot of anxiety they are and in reverse it can mean that they're coming out of anxiety but in this situation it lands on top of the devil in reverse this is not getting better this is like stressed out to the max stressed out to the max this this person, I'm going to be honest with you, because of the emotional stress and the, the daily, this person, it could be taking an effect on their looks. They, they could, they, they, because with the, uh, anxiety and stress, uh, especially women, men too, you see, I ain't got no hair, but it ain't because of that. I don't stress about nothing, I don't, I don't worry about nothing. Uh, I tell it to my bride or to show her about everything. Make you lose your hair, women. It 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 puts it ages you prematurely. It does a lot of things that. Um, mm, yes. Mm. Yeah, I tell my bride that all the time. She start worrying about money. I say, hell, that ain't nothing. I can make some more money. That's 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 easy. That's an easy problem. 
I can't I can't fix health issues or or you know things like that, but I can fix some money issues. That that I can do. That I specialize in. That I specialize in spiritual issues too. You got a spiritual. Ooh, the sun in reverse. That's a, lands on top of the devil and the king of swords in reverse. Mm. The sun in reverse. They are sad. They and uh, yeah, they are sad. Like I said a while ago, I said this person got a lot of ego. That's what the sun in reverse is. It is like an egotistical maniac. I'm like, dude, you know, get over yourself. Humble. Humility is the way to go. Not arrogance. And, because you ain't got, I mean, you you like a train wreck. You know, you got freaking train cars scattered all over the damn place. Your life is like in, and they they, they wear a mask. They think that. You know, nobody knows. It's such a sad situation. Oh. Hmm. Laying on top of the king of swords in reverse and options. Some of these options betrayed them already. Some of these options. This karma right here, I can tell you that. That's karma. Yeah, karma don't forget your address. I don't care where you move. You can't outrun karma. You may be able to outrun your twin flame, but you ain't gonna outrun karma. Nah. And karma gonna use some of these options that you've been playing with to hurt you like you hurt people. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. If you hurt people financially, karma gonna take it all. Every bit of it. Every bit of it. If you was taking from somebody and you had a savings, making as if you was in need, but all that time you had a savings, karma gonna take that savings. Whoever that psycho nut job is over there, turd, no, turd party. Mm -hmm. They're gonna take all that savings. Karma gonna make sure of that. They're gonna be like, so how you like that feeling, boo? How you like that, huh? Oh, yeah, and they want to move away. They want the oh, They want to move away from them options. They said, oh, hell no. I need to get away. Yeah, six of swords. Yeah, they want to move to some calm water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they want to like, oh, no, I need to get them. Oh. Yeah, they, uh, early in the earlier spread, we had a healing. We had a healing card in there. And that's what that is. The six of, of swords is they want to heal. They want to move away from all of this pain that they're in. The self-inflicted pain. They didn't have to do none of this. They didn't have to. They chose to do all of this. And there is no justification. I don't give a shit. I don't give a damn what therapist you go to. What psycho, psychotic, whatever. I don't. With me, there is no justification for hurting people. You make a choice to do that. You can make a choice not to. You got two choices. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm drill them in the eyes or oh, I ain't doing that to them because they didn't hurt me. And this right here, they made the wrong choice. Oh no, oh no. Five of swords. It lands on top of uh, the nine of swords. Ooh. Ooh. Getting my cards off. It lands on top of the nine of swords. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's terrible reading, man. That's terrible spread. Both of these were terrible spreads. I mean, I hope things improve here. We're going to do the mess that. I hope it might improve with the mess deck. Mess deck might give us something, some hope there. Because I'm gonna tell you, the five of swords is a fail, it's failure. It this they feel like a failure. Self-sabotaging behavior. Another freaking enabler. Yeah, I self-sabotage everything I do. No, you don't you choose to do that. You don't have to do that. What? Come on, man. I hope it's called fair. Yes. 
again. Oh no, uh uh. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And oh no, there's another failure card. Failure, failure. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse is nothing but like debt. Because you see, Eight of Pentacles in the upright is this person working hard. They're paying things off. They're financially stable. They are somewhat financially secure. It can also mean promotion. It, oh, you know what? I think yes, last my last, I don't know. I think my last reading. That can also mean a loss of Income. It can also mean a loss of position, meaning that you can lose. You, they're losing a position. I remember because we talked. I think I talked about restructuring. In in a situation, there's some restructuring going on within there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But you know, this is. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is like overspending, using a credit card too much. They can't pay their credit card. They like, ooh. So let me tell you, credit card, if you don't know what you're doing, that's like a drug. That is an addiction you can't get rid of. Yeah. Yeah, ooh, and they battle weary. Yeah, nine of, nine of wands, battle weary. Oh, Lord. Man, man, man. Did they give up? They giving in. They 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 throwing in the towel. That's what that card is. Yep. Seven of Wands. They they just uh, and this is fire energy. Right next back to back. Fire energy. Mm-hmm. And uh, for, for, you know, I'm sorry for whoever wants to know. This is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's what that energy is, and it really means nothing. It just means that that's the energy that they in. Fire is passion. They they this they they losing their passion. They losing their 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 fierceness. As in Leo is fierce. They they a fighter. They they losing it. They not. Oh, my wheel of fortune in reverse. This, I'm gonna shut this one down. This is not good. This is not a good spread. This is not a good reading. This is like super depressing. Let's see what's on the bottom. The hair font. That's what they need to do. They need to go into the hair font. They need to. Go back to their traditional before all of this started. Go back to when it was good. What was I doing when my life was better that made a change to the way it is now? I did something different between here and there. What was it? So I can undo what I did and go back to the way things were. You may not go back to the way things were with the same people you had. But it, I'm positive it would get better. I mean, my God. Stop hanging around with toxic ass people. That's like be the first thing I would change. Screw that. If you don't, you know, if you're not going to serve me in some kind of way. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. I don't want you in my life. I don't want you around me. You know, if you're not going to uplift me emotionally, why would I want you around me? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Health issues. Health issues. Somebody got health issues. They've been to a doctor. It could be a serious problem. It, it could involve a hospital stay. And this could also be a mental health issue. This could be a... They seen someone for uh, 
and and they should if you have issues like that you should you should seek counseling you should seek uh psychiatric therapy you should i i am a hundred percent for that you were warned about me an enabler enabler it, it's it's okay so this card right here is an attitude like I'm not going to take the blame for what I did. They told you about me. And perhaps people had. Perhaps people said, that's a side pawn, a snake. Don't mess with that. That's going to bite you. And they're very, very toxic. They're poisonous. Quite possibly some someone told you that. And you did anyway. That's what that is. See, this person knows that there's other people told you. And that's what they're saying right here. You were warned about me, so it's not my fault. That's your fault. Yeah. You start playing with a snake and you get bit. That's your fault. That's not their fault. It's not the snake's fault. Yeah. I kill a snake, me. Snake bite me. Spiritual warrior. Swords out. Off with the snake's head. Grass wasn't greener. Yeah. I bet it wasn't. Fake ass Home Depot grass. Mm hmm. Got that psycho over there. That's who that was. It left, walked away from whoever you are to go to that psycho over there. And you were the one that. Let's flip some old cards. Oh, car trouble. This card come up the other day. A couple of readings back. Car trouble. This person got car issues. Could be financial issues that prevent them from fixing the car it could be a title loan or something then the car got repossessed could be there's a lot of there's so many freaking scenarios with this that it is it could be a car wreck breakdowns it's just simple maintenance but there is car trouble that see yep this person got issues, money, pentacles, unexpected problems, not enough pentacles to pay the bills. That's what it says. And it says missing money. Remember I just said a while ago about somebody may have, see that's what I call taking advantage of somebody, manipulating them because if you have money in the bank and you take money from someone else, and you don't want to use your own money. That's a manipulation tactic. That that is a a you playing somebody. Missing money. Ooh, I made some mistakes. I wish I could take back. Oh yeah, I bet. I bet. And we are gonna do a diamond spread with this. And remember. The base on this was hospital. So this could be affecting the, could, because the the money card is directly underneath health issues. And with health issues come money issues. I don't care what anybody said. Health issues create money issues. My bride has got a lot of issues when it comes to health. And I'm telling you. I don't, I, sometimes I can't, I put pencil on a paper and I just can't figure out how people do it. Like, wow. And I'm, I make very good money and I can, ain't, I can only imagine. Now I know why the whole family works. Yeah. It's like, oh, oof. Ooh, it was no love. It was just lust. Oh no. It was just lust. Temptations. Well, that didn't work out too good, I could tell you that for them. Because for you, it wasn't lust, it was all love. For spiritual warrior, for the soul tribe, for my little earth angels, there was no lust. And they would have never, you would have never lusted after nobody else. It would have been all love for this person, whoever this is. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, you loved this person. You really did. You was like extremely hurt with all of this. Extremely. Um, it was just sex. 
again, it was like all of these cars are like excuses and justification and it's not. It's like, no, just sex. What in the hell? You know, and I'm, I'm assuming, I guess, they would accept that excuse from you. If you would have told him that you wouldn't have, you would have never done that, but had you, and you went to them and you said, listen, it's okay, it was just sex. I, I'm assuming that they would be okay with that. I bet they would. I bet you that's the, that's the type they are. They're like, I can do it, but you can't. Ooh, mixed race relationship. Ooh, where that come from? Ooh. Mixed race relationship. And ain't nothing wrong with it, I guess. I mean, I'm just saying it's fine. It's just a, a identifier for the reading, for the spread. Whoever this was, they could have gotten involved in a mixed race, possibly a immigrant uh, or whatever the case is. Whatever, whatever it is, it could be. My goodness, what the word? <laughs> I'm finna shut all this down. Same sex relationship. I am a trisexual. This person is a deviant. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I'm about to shut all this down. I can't take it no more. I'm about to break out no sweat. Whew. God. Unbear I bet unbearable. Guilt and temptation lands on top of it's uh, no love, only sex. I bet. I mean, man, really? My goodness. I'm ashamed of what I've done. I bet you are. Hell, I would be too. Jesus Christ. Man. What in the world? It lands on top of no, yeah, no love. And it was just sex. I'm ashamed of what I've done. So sorry for the things I said. This land's dead center. Remember I told you that when you do a diamond spread, this card right here, um, it, it, it could be just like you do concentric circle spread where your cards lay in a circle and you work your way to the middle or you start in the middle and you work your way out. Okay, This is similar. This card, everything is going to, this is the hub. This is the hub of this spread. Sorry for the things I've said. They said some unbelievably hurtful things. Wow. Swords, man. Swords cut deep. I don't know what to say. Now they don't know what to say. But they said, they're so sorry for some of the things they said, but now they like, they're at a loss for words. Before they like, their vocabulary was on point. Tattoos. Whoever they was with, third party, tattooed up. They like tattoos. Yeah, they was like, let me, let me see them tattoos. Got a friend or dude. Psycho. Let me see them tattoos. I like them. I ain't got none, so they wouldn't have to worry about that with me because I ain't got none. Don't want none. Lost a lot of regret. Oh, yeah, they feel full of regret, too. Unbearable guilt. It landed on top of, and they're ashamed of what they've done. They got so many, so much regret that it's... Yeah, perhaps they got a lot of regret because of... They got caught, maybe. Because that's what that is. Regret is... I regret getting caught. Yeah, rem remorses. You know, I'm sorry for what I did. I am extremely sorry for what I've done. I wish I could undo everything. I have so much trauma. Another enabler. You know, who don't have trauma? Nowadays, everybody got some damn trauma. I got trauma, shit. I mean, stuff. It. Put SH in the front of it. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Who don't have trauma? We all got some kind of trauma in our life. You learn from it and you, you share your experience with others and you teach others. <laughs> so that, that pain, you turn it into power. Yeah, you don't like, oh, poor thing. 
You don't go sit in a freaking circle in, in somewhere in some trauma therapy and then, you know, well, let me tell you what happened to me. Be like, you know, I go over there and the whole bunch is going to be motivated. I'll be like, shit, I whooped the hell out of that trauma. It wasn't nothing for me. Yeah, it hurt. It hurt. Lord have mercy. It was painful. Yeah. It didn't take me long. I moved on with my life. You have to. You got no choice. You got people to depend on you. I love. I don't love them. Oh, look, you see? I don't love them. Okay, why are you over there? That's my question. Okay. I'm just wondering, you know. I mean. You said some things you shouldn't have said. And you went over there with that psycho nut job. And I don't love them. Okay, so, okay, let's get back to what he's talking about. Why you went over there? Grass was greener. They taught. They taught about 15 choices. 15. February, it could be January 5th. 15. I'm hoping this person... That... Can't be. I was gonna say 15 years old. I ain't no way, cause then that's some sick stuff here. I mean, I'm definitely bailing out of this reading. Oh Lord, I feel like a perv just thinking that. Yeah, Lord. Changes in lifestyle. Yep, this person definitely had. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I think that this person had that lifestyle, and now it's just coming out. They always been this way. They, you know, they, they undependable, they unreliable, they, they disloyal to everybody. They have no loyalty, 44, 4 and 4, April 4th. This person could be 44 years old. This could be, 15 could be a date, the 15th. 15. Hmm. I was going to say it could be choices, change it up. Could be a hotel room number 15, but normally they go with like 115. It's not just 15. So. <laughs> discussions. Need to make discussions. I'm sorry. Need to make decisions. Uh, oh, my goodness. I hate where I'm at. 39. March the 9th, this person could be hooked up with somebody 9 or 39 years old, but this is, 39 has to deal with a job, career. Yes. Uh, and it's funny, this comes out because we had the thing about restructuring. Yes. 3 and 12. 12. See, three. Three and nine is twelve. One and two. Three. Uh -uh. Yeah, probably something like that. One and two is three. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even do that. Uh, hold on just a second. Well, I need, oh, blank. They want to start from new. They want a new. They want to start fresh. Well, I'll wear a mask. Imagine that. They came out before. I'll wear a mask. Burning bridges. They burn some bridges. They type messages. They want to contact you. They type messages, but they don't send. Possibly because they block. They, they're unable. I wish I could turn back time. I said that a while ago. Weight loss. Possibly because of the health issues. Brown eyes. Mm-hmm. Brown eyes. Trust number two. Yeah. Trust and gratitude. You inspire me to be better. Please don't go. We're gonna shut it down. I'm gonna let's see. What's this? Last mm. Denise says, can karmics change for good? Um, and, but before that, she says, are there earth demons walking among us? Like earth angels. Yes, of course. They are, there is evil among us. And 
demons go by many names and they infect a lot of people. In this reading, you can see there's a lot of evil activity. The easiest way to get infected by a demon and becoming a the host, because some people become the demon, is through sexual activity. That's the easiest way. If somebody puts a th thumb drive in you, or you allow, if you put your thumb drive in somebody else, vice versa, if you allow it to happen, and they possessed by a demon, you will become demon possessed. You will have a demon in you, and you will make unbelievable bad choices. So yes, karmics can change. They can. There are many examples in scriptures where karmics um, um, I'm, I'm reminded of the woman at the well with Jesus. And when she approached Christ or he approached her, she was, uh, she was taken back because of the shine that Christ had, the glow that he had, the vibration. And she felt unworthy to even be in his presence. And he told her straight up, what I have to offer, you'll never thirst again. And if she accept this offer, when well, she did, she did. Another story is uh, Mary Magdalene. When, when she put perfume on his feet, she washed his feet with her tears. She was crying so bad. She was just unbelievably moved emotionally. And Christ felt for her. Felt for her. And uh, some of the disciples wanted to chastise her because of, of uh, I think Judas, in fact, it was Judas that said that, uh, why are you wasting perfume on his feet? We could sell that. And Christ said, leave her be. Leave her alone. And this woman and Christ, both of them, fell madly in love with each other. Christ loved her. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not saying they had some type of sexual escapade. I'm saying that Christ loved this woman deeply, unbelievably deeply. Yes. And she loved him big time. You want me to tell you how you know this? Because she was the first one at the tomb when they crucified him and they buried him. She went every day to that tomb. She loved Christ. Not because of he was a savior and not because he gave his life for our sins. Because she emotionally loved this man. She fell so deeply in love with Christ that she missed him already. Yes. So, and Christ was a man. People, people like, I get it, you know, we all want Christ to be uh, which he was. He was very, very, he, he, he came from heaven. He was God's son. But he was also a man. He had every feelings that a man had. Every feeling that I have, Christ had. And that's just a fact. Some, some Christians have a hard time coping with that, but it's a fact. And anyway, let's see what else. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. yeah. And what, the reason I was, I was bringing up the woman at the well is because... They had they had sexual demons in them. They you know prostitution and and um, you know of that sort. And most likely with that there was other demons involved, uh, ego, arrogance. But when you meet a earth angel, meet Christ. Christ was definitely an earth angel. Christ is the the commander of spiritual warriors, as far as I'm concerned. If you're a Christian, you can be a, a, a Muslim and be a spiritual warrior. You can be a Muslim, you can be Buddhist, you can be whatever you want to be. You don't have to believe anything and be a spiritual warrior. You just have to believe in spiritualism. 
and love spiritually, love people. Do what's right. Make the right choices. That's what spiritual warriors do. That's what spiritualism is all about. That's what we, that's what I, I teach. That's what I want us all to do is uh, make the right choices and love one another. That's what it's all about. It's not about oh, just all this. I mean, religion is fine. Conversion is fine. We want to convert. Christianity wants to make everybody Christians. It's not going to happen. It just won't. So, y'all stay close to God and talk to God. And I'm, most likely I won't make another video until I get to Louisville. This will be the last one. And I'm, I'm thankful and blessed that I'm able to do this one right now. So, uh, when I get to Louisville, I'll make another one. Unless, of course, we get stopped in the river for whatever reason, I'll make one. Uh, I love y'all. Talk to God. Peace out. Uh, yeah, nothing else.